I mean, when I grew up, a dunce cap signified, uh, you know, stupidity. I, I actually remember kids being sat in the corner with a giant dunce cap as a form of punishment. I'm Stephen Grass, founder and owner of uh, Tamworth Distilling and Quaker City Mercantile. We're trying to boldly go where no spirits company has gone before. I love creating brands because I love the storytelling. I have a book coming out called Brand Mysticism. I actually go step by step on how to create a brand. We have a chapter advising people not to come out with yet another bourbon brand that is based on a fake story. The art director on my book, he came up with this, I thought, genius graphic, a dunce cap hovering over a whiskey glass. I said, man, that would make a great brand. We thought it would be funny to troll the whiskey industry by coming out with a brand called Dunce that was making fun of brands that make fake stories about thinking that the whiskey will taste better because you have a fake story associated with it. You know, we've created the brand, the graphic, it looks great, but I'm like, I wonder why it's called a Dunce. So I did a little research, and lo and behold, there's a whole backstory. There was a guy named John Dunce who lived in the 1200s, I think, and he was considered to be the smartest man alive he was a theologian, a mystic, and he wore a pointy conical cap because he believed knowledge of the heavens would be channeled down through the point of the hat into, into his brain. That seems silly to us, but I guess the Pope felt threatened by him, by his knowledge, so they turned the smartest man alive into a symbol for being stupid. So Dunce goes from being this symbol of stupidity to actually it's a symbol of knowledge. My thought was like, what if we took the conical caps and actually rested them on the barrels? So I talked to my distiller, I talked to my biochemist, I talked to several historians, and I even talked to a Wiccan. And the, the answer repeatedly was, why not? My name is Jamie Oakes. I'm the uh, distiller here at Tamworth Distilling. What is a good whiskey? Um, that's, that's a very difficult question. I, uh, I might need some help on that. I, uh... <sighs> What's a good whiskey? A good whiskey um, is a balance. Some darker, deeper notes that ground it as well as some lighter notes that actually bring forth a lot of the ethereal. This would be a cap that helps harness the energy of the universe and knowledge and collects it and funnels it down to help me collect and funnel some of that information. A dunce cap is really a pyramid with no corners. It's a pyramid with curves. We have all know about the energy and the power in a pyramid, that things, when they're kept under a pyramidical shape, they taste better, they look better. If you wore a pyramid hat, your hair would grow, your skin would be better. There's a lot out there that needs to be collected while you're collecting spirit. The information, the knowledge and wisdom that's out there in vapor form, it's heavy on my head um, and, my, and my ears sometimes, yeah. What this actually does is when it is placed upon your head or some other object, for example, a whiskey barrel, Now, right now, as all the time, my brain, your brain, everybody's brain is giving off waves and energy. And that's just going up into the ether. It's feeding the gods. But with a dunce cap, that energy is trapped and it is actually amplified and brought back down into my psyche. In the case of the dunce whiskey, where these barrels have been so carefully and lovingly capped that energy is being put back into Dunst whiskey, and the result is nothing more than stultifying. So the Dunst uh, line can come from anywhere, anywhere in the universe. But the particular whiskey that we're using for batch one comes from Lawrenceburg, Indiana. We try to tune ourselves to the barrels that we select. We listen to them and we also apply a dunce cap to them in order for them to become receptacles for the universe. And when they are to a degree of collection that we, that we find harmonious, we will blend that up and put that in a bottle. 
Brewing and distilling is no stranger to the pyramid style. There is Solera method of aging, where there is a peaked, younger, underdeveloped, and then towards the base of this structure is where the older, more wise spirit emerges. I started Tamworth to create a sort of utopian experience, this perfect center where you're creating the most extraordinary spirits. And I thought what was amazing about the, the town of Tamworth was it was still this perfect New Hampshire farming community. It hadn't changed much in, you know, hundreds of years. Tamworth is a place of great special energy. I hesitate to even mention it because we don't want that energy to become too diluted. There are many ley lines that do find axes right on the village of Tamworth. We have these amazing varieties of granite that give off such energy. And look at what is, what is it that the Tamworth is in the shadow of all the time? It's Mount Shikara. Shikara itself, when viewed from all the Tamworth sides, is a distinct and obvious cone. It is a cone, and it is feeding its energy down its slopes into the air, and it comes down upon us. We've founded the company on metaphysical and esoteric teachings. Yes, we believe in science, but we believe in esoteric possibility as well. The Dunn's Cap brings it to a point and highlights things we were already doing and, and channels it down straight into the product. It's not inconceivable that those who wear the Dunn's Cap and drink the Dunn's Whiskey can be able to do things like solve Wordle in no more than three levels. There is no end to what may be possible through the wearing of the Dunce cap and the consuming of the Dunce whiskey. In the honor of John Dunce, um, we have decided to turn his legacy into this, um, I mean, deeply beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. And I think the, uh, it's a beautiful story of redemption and power. And, and belief in, in God above. And, oh my God, I feel like, can we, can we stop for a second? I'm feeling a little, um, oh Lord. Oh, wow. Be a dance.